I am about to scare the shit out of this nigga. I hope that no one sees me or hears me. Shit. Loud ass fucking door. Oh shit, it's getting real. This is a tough how I start. It's, you got six minutes. Ah, what did you do that for? I gotta get it, yeah. Already winning, and this is just the beginning. Uh. I'm a menace in this game and I replenish it And these niggas that's in the game Boy they finish Competition I'm abolishing Straight demolish What's good everybody it's your boy Stax Montana And if you read the title you'll know I'm back with another mother Say nah I'm back with another story though And I'm also killing two birds with one stone Because I'm doing the Saints for the third Let's play or gameplay or play up or say up or whatever it's called I'm doing that for you guys so after many requests i'm finally doing it so here we go killing two birds with one stone but this story right here is about me skipping school and just so having to be my first time skipping school having to be so awful but let's get into the story so me and five of my niggas no man if i'm gonna start even for that um it was my ninth grade year in high school my freshman year the first year and it was like two weeks into it um, I had never skipped school before, and I always, ever since I got to high school, I was always talking about, like, yeah, I'm going to skip school, I'm not going to go to class, I'm just eat lunch all day, and, you know, in those two weeks, I haven't accomplished any of those, I haven't stayed out in the hallway, haven't eat lunch all day, and I haven't skipped school, so I'm like, man, I gotta, I gotta get one of these things off of my list, I gotta do at least one of these things, you know, because, you know, I mean, it's still beginning of school year. Yeah. You're still trying to, you know, get yourself known in this new high school or whatever. So, so I decided, you know, get a couple of my niggas together, and we skip school. So the day come, and we finally go out to skip school, and us, like, smartasses have nowhere to go. Like, we just outside, like, okay, where the fuck, like, where, where's to now? We can't go to none of our houses yet because someone's there, you know what I'm saying? So... Except for my nigga, well, I'm getting to that later. But, so we have nowhere to go. So me, you know, I'm a genius and shit. I came up with the idea like, hey, yeah, let's go back to our old um, middle school and just go inside there and stay there all day. So everybody j agreed. Now it's me and my nigga Marcus. They're going to kill me for saying their real names. Marcus, Antoine, Lawrence, Chris, and Saquon. All, all of us. And um, we decided, and only Saquon and Lawrence didn't go to this middle school that the rest of us went to. So they were just coming to go. So we went there, and we just blended in with the fucking rest of the kids. Cause we still got our, like, halfway eighth grade body, because it's just been one summer and shit. Like, we, we ain't grow no bigger, no shit. Except Saquon, he was a fat ass nigga. Saquon, he lost a lot of weight now, by the way. But Saquon was a fat ass, swollen ass, big ass boy. Like, he just looked like a fucking grown man when he was born. Like, he just, oh, this nigga was just fat as hell. And Chris, he was just a tall ass nigga. He was fucking tall as shit. But anyway, we just blended in with the regular kids because, like, in the morning, the kids would be out back in the playground and or in front of the school waiting to be called inside the school to go to class or whatever. So we were just out there with them, and then we blended in and got in with them. So, yeah, eighth grade, I was, the classes was broken down into, like, eight periods. You know what I'm saying? So, for the first whole period, we just stayed inside of this one cool-ass teacher we had. We stayed inside of her class, and we were just talking to her. Like, catching up. It been only been one fucking summer, but we ended up catching up and shit and all this. So, yeah, we just actually I got two funny-ass stories. I might get y'all both of them in this one storytelling, but we in there with this bitch, and we just in there talking and shit, and all blah, 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 blah. blah. So, like, she telling us, like, yeah, lay low, you know what I'm saying? Don't make noise inside the school, because she was cool as shit. She's like, don't make noise inside the school, and, you know what I'm saying? Just lay low, and you'll be straight, eh? Nobody will know that you don't belong here. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, all right, true. But that's what, that's what we're going to do, so whatever. So, anyway, second period comes, and we got bold as fuck. Like, we got bold as hell. 
and we decides to just run roam the fucking hallways inside the school but we had one home base like our home base it was this class but it was a substitute in it and we told him we was in that class but you know, we were just running in and out of that class basically so we just doing that the whole fucking day just fucking knocking on doors teachers doors and running and all types of dumb type of shit we just doing and even at one time we knocked on the door when the student came we snatched him out and whooped his ass not beat his ass like bust his nose and all shit like playfully beat his ass but we beat his ass though like <laughs> don't get me wrong we did beat his ass but anyway uh yeah we snatched this nigga the fuck out oh where the fuck am i all right all right, so we just, like, becoming a fucking menace inside the school. So now we're drawing a lot of attention to ourselves and the floor that we was on and all types of shit. we just drawing a lot of attention. So it must have been a lot of complaints because when we was on our way back out of the home base class, we look, I, I looked to the left and I seen the security guard for the school turn the corner. Like, hey, man, don't you run. And I'm like, and my mom, like, when when police officers or security guards say that, do they really expect a nigga to run? Like, would they be like, freeze? Do they really think a nigga that's gonna stand there like, ah, yeah, yeah, you got me? You got, no, what the <laughs> hell, no, nah, nigga. But I turned the corner, start hauling ass, running and shit. But then I noticed, cause only I noticed that me, only me, Chris, and Lawrence had ran. So I'm like, oh shit, the rest of the niggas probably didn't see him. So I ran back, cause I'm a real nigga. You feel me? I am a real nigga. I look out for my homies. I'm loyal like that. So I runs back and I goes back and tell the rest of the niggas like, yo, security guard coming. Let's go, niggas. Come on, niggas. Hurry up. So them niggas running and shit. And then I notice again that Saquon fat ass, dumb fat fucker nigga didn't even fucking run. I'm like, what the fuck is wrong with this nigga? I looks back. I'm the only nigga that goes back to try to save this nigga. I looks back, and guess what this dumbass motherfucker gonna do? This nigga gonna tuck, try to tuck his fat, swollen ass inside the fucking classroom. No, he too fucking big. Like, the nigga seen you already, and he's so fucking fat, he tried to hide in the, in the doorway. This nigga, all he hid was a fucking arm or a fucking half a leg or some shit because this nigga so fucking fat, like, the rest of the shit was showing. Security guard just grabbed his ass up by his motherfucking hoodie and S tried to take this nigga down the stairs and shit. This nigga all tussling with him. I'm like, nah, fuck that. I gotta leave this nigga. So we all just fucking ran out the fucking building and shit. And we just get outside. We hauling ass, hauling ass, hauling ass away from the school and shit. So we finally get far enough away from school. We stop trying to catch our breath and shit. Like, yo, Saquon, fat ass, got caught, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> they quiet, man. That's God go. That shit was the funniest shit I ever seen in my life. Like I was just imagining that shit over and over in my head. That this fat ass nigga had got caught, but they ended up taking this nigga back to the school and shit. Oh, that shit was fucking hilarious. But anyway, we goes back. So about time all this stuff took place. We was able to go to, um, cause Marcus and Antoine was brothers, so we was able to go to their house cause their mother had already went to work by now. So we went over there and we made fucking pancake sandwiches, just play hide and go seek and shit like, you know. Oh, and we played the, I, I had the most epic hiding spot, like niggas could not fucking find me. I was in his sister closet and they looked in there and everything still didn't see me. But anyway, that's, that's, that's freshman year, come on, I'm, I don't play those type of games no more. But. I meant also sneak in this other story. Another time I skipped school. No, I didn't just fucking skip school every day. Nigga, I graduated high school, my niggas. You feel me? <laughs> like, oh shit. But anyway, another time I skipped school. It was freshman skip day. Same fucking year and everything. Freshman skip day. And actually, this is my second time. Why all this fucking bad shit happened when I skipped school? Except this one time on my birthday, I skipped school. And <sighs> anyway, oh, I skipped school freshman skip day. And. We me, my nigga Lawrence, cause he been my homie since like when since we was fucking little as shit. And like, we even performed in a talent show together when we was in fucking what grade was that? Sixth grade. But anyway, um, we used to perform. No, what the fuck? Yeah, we skipped school, and yeah, me, Lawrence, and this girl named Kiki, and we all went to the mall. You know what I'm saying? And we just walking around the mall, wandering around the mall, and all that shit. So y'all know the display. I know y'all have been to a mall and seen a display car out there, like the cars they have on display where you could go inside and look at them and all, all the types of shit. So we see one of those. You know us being black kids and shit. No, we just had to go and just play with the shit. So we getting all inside it, playing with it, acting like we driving, like we escaping the police and all types of shit like that. Just playing in it. So now, like, we took shit to the extreme. We goes out the car and see that the trunk was open. So now I started 
gassing the shit out of my nigga Lawrence. To like, yo, I bet you won't get in this trunk. I bet you won't get in the trunk and close it. I bet you won't get in the trunk and close it, nigga. I bet you a bitch. I bet you won't do that shit, my nigga. I bet you a bitch, nigga, 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 nigga. Whatever, so. Nigga, he had stuck his chest all over. Nigga, watch. Nigga, watch me get in this motherfucking chest. Sounded dumb as hell, nigga. <laughs> Sounded dumb as hell. Then, yeah, nigga, watch me get in this motherfucking trunk. I ain't scared to get in this motherfucking trunk. Nigga, watch me get in this trunk. So, the nigga really gets in the trunk. And now me and the girl Kiki, we playing and shit. I like we can't get the nigga out. Like, oh, shit, nigga, we can't get you the fuck out, nigga. Oh, shit. All the time we playing. So, he like, yo, stop playing. Stop playing, nigga. Stop playing. <laughs> like, stop playing, nigga. So, I be like, all right, man. Let's let this nigga out. And trying to let this nigga out, we notice this nigga really stuck in that motherfucker. <laughs> this nigga really stuck in that motherfucker. So we like going to the front of the car and shit, lifting, trying to find them. You know, in the front of the car, they got the little button that could pop the trunk and all this type of junk. We going in there trying to find that button. There's no button in there. Like, we trying to open the trunk by hand. There's no way to get it open. Now, we would have went to go get the guards, but they would have kicked us out of the mall. And it would have been nowhere else for us to go. So we like. Okay, we can't go get the motherfucking guards. We just gotta try to get this nigga out. So, I had just remembered, like, the, it, it seemed like this was meant for this to happen. I had just watched this bitch get raped on TV. No, hold on, hold on. <laughs> it was a show. I forgot what the show exactly was about, but I know this chick on there had got raped, and they put her in a trunk, and she had, like, grabbed this little thing on there to let her out the trunk or whatever, whatever the fuck. So, I had. Um, told him, like, yeah, man, I had watched this, this bitch get raped on TV. Yo, you got to pull a string in there. So he's searching around in there. You hear the nigga all bumping his head and his hand all over in the back of the fucking trunk and all that shit. Trying to scuffle his way out. So he finally get his motherfucking way out. The nigga all hyper like, uh, 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 uh. So I thought I was going to be stuck in here. So I thought I was going to be stuck in here and shit. Acting like an old punk and shit. And, yeah. But we still get end up kick, getting kicked out the fucking mall later on. Doing some extra dumb shit, but... Yeah, those is two stories about when I fucking skip school, and I encourage y'all to skip school. Yeah, that's the matter of fact. That's the moral of the story. The moral of the story is skip school at least once. You no, know, I had some fun. Mine as well, you know, YOLO, nigga. You feel me? Um, and enjoy your high school experience, because high school years was probably some of the best years of my life. And that's it. So, um... <sighs> Real nigga, stay up, and I am out. <laughs> oh shit, nigga, give me the truth. <laughs> <laughs>